Thank you, Roger. And joining me in studio now is Mr. Murray Bailey. He's the CEO of East Tech Incorporated, stock symbols EESH. Uh, Murray, welcome to the program. Yeah, thanks for having me on the show, Don. Now, Murray, East Tech describes itself as a development stage company which provides solutions using economically and environmentally sustainable technologies. Uh, can you give us a general overview? Uh, yes, East Tech is a company that owns three um, green technologies. They are patented technologies. We have intellectual property ownership of these. They are designed to work in the energy industry. Um, we have technologies that use waste coal and methane to produce electricity, and the energy that's derived from that machine also is used to purify water. When I was researching your company, I noticed you have something called a hybrid coal mine gas technology known as HCGT. Utilizes waste coal and methane to produce cost-effective clean coal energy. Uh, can you elaborate? Well, yeah, the um, HCGT, as we call it, a hybrid coal mine gas technology, was developed by the a Australian government research facility in conjunction with a partnership with industry. As a result of that, East Tech was able to acquire, we purchased the IP um, and a technology transferring it back to the US as it were. The HCGT was designed specifically to utilize ventilated air methane from a coal mine. Now, for, for decades, we've been spewing useful energy into the air, and now you're able to capture that and use it for power purposes? Well, yes. Um, ventilated air methane, or methane, has a global warming potential 21 times more damaging to our atmosphere than carbon dioxide. The objective of the research facility in Australia was to utilize that in a way that it wouldn't just be um, ventilated to the atmosphere. The HCGT system was designed to use waste coal that would normally be stockpiled and creates environmental damage in its own right. We use that as a fuel supplemented with the methane. That in turn gives us clean energy and sustainable energy supply that can be used either at the coal mine or it can be sold onto the grid. That's remarkable. Now, of course, China is a huge uh, user of coal energy. The company recently announced the signing of a memo of understanding with the Degang Power in China. Can you tell us about that? Yes. Um, well, the Degang Power Company is one of uh, the companies we're working with. This uh, came about through a relationship that East Tech now has under a contractor relationship with the Australian Greenhouse Gas Office and the China Coal Institute who are working uh, to find locations for this technology to use as a reference point for further use um, throughout China. The company's East Tech Incorporated, stock symbols EESH. For more information, give us a toll-free call anywhere in the world, 888-259-4449. Free information will be on its way to you in the mail. Now, Murray, uh, clean coal technology, it has the support of environmentalists, it has the support of governments. Uh, you own rights or to three basically environmentally sustainable technologies that have direct application in the world's uh, mining and energy industries. Do you feel as CEO that the company is perfectly positioned at this time? Well, yes, we're obviously very lucky to um, have blue blood technologies developed. Um, the Australian technologies, the HCGT and the jet water system, were developed in conjunction with a government research facility and the carbon capture sequestration technology that we have licensed for Australia, Australasia Pacific and China and India, all a global warming, uh, fight, uh, help us fight against the global warming potentials of coal mining in general. Mm -hmm. Up to 60% of all of the ventilated air methane, or methane that is derived from a coal mine, is ventilated air methane. So the volumes that are being emitted around the world on a daily basis uh, are something of concern towards global warming. Our technology can eliminate that, um, that global warming potential and turn it into a clean energy fuel. You know, it's so amazing because I think when many people are thinking of the hazards of global warming, they're thinking of auto emissions or factory emissions. They're not really thinking of the emissions that occur from simple coal mining. Well, I guess that is right. Um, I think most of us are aware of what carbon monoxide does because it's coming out of exhausts of cars. But um, as I mentioned, methane is 21 times more damaging to the environment than um, carbon dioxide. So to use it in the way we're doing is smart and it makes good common sense waste to energy. 
Now, the company made an announcement last month uh, whereby Aryan Clean Coal Technologies of India is entering into an agreement with you to establish a joint venture. Tell us about that. Well, Aryan Coal, uh, we're very excited about this opportunity. First, Aryan Coal, uh, Clean Coal Technologies is a company that sets incredibly high standards. It's run by ex-Indian um, military people. It is a major player in the Indian coal industry. Um, we approached them through, um, to look at setting up a joint venture for two reasons. One, the coal price, the energy costs in India are extremely high. So by using our machinery, um, we we're able to reduce the cost of energy to a coal mine by anything six or seven million dollars a year. Um, we can take the waste from that coal mine and provide them the energy for it. The electricity surfaces that aren't used at the coal mine can be put onto the grid. And obviously in India where um, the electricity supplies aren't as constant as they would be in this country, to have a genuine, reliable source of electricity is of a high demand at all coal mines there. That's remarkable. Now, Murray, can you tell us a little bit about uh, both your management and your advisory team? Yes. Um, our management team, we've kept the company fairly lean and mean. Uh, we've concentrated in the last few years of developing the technologies. This is now done and we're entering the commercialization phase. We've created a strategic alliance with large consulting firms, um, the Dusan Babcock's engineering um, facilities, one of the world's largest builders of power stations, Leighton's construction in the Australasian Pacific area. So we have the capabilities through our contracted relationship with, with third parties. In terms of our board of advisors, um, as a small bulletin board company, we haven't been able to attract necessarily the types of um, board of directors that the company would like. So we've been smart enough to surround ourselves with some very experienced corporate people, government people, and industry sector people that are meeting and assisting the company in determining the strategic path forward for the introduction of these technologies. Again, Ease Tech Incorporated, EESH is their SOC symbol, our toll free number anywhere in the world, 888 259 4449 for free information in the mail. Uh, Murray, uh, why is this a good time right now for people to take a closer look at East Tech? Well, I think with energy costs around the world running away, with the fact that the um, financial markets have hit the wall, um, I think people are looking for something new. And this is an opportunity where um, investing community, whether that be the managers of um, retirement funds or investment funds, uh, they, I believe they're looking for something new. Everybody is recognizing the need to contribute in some small way to solving our problems of global warming and, and the way that we've basically trashed the environment in, in, in past history. I believe that um, East Tech has the answers uh, in a small way. It can play a major part in helping to clean up a particular industry. And I believe that um, if they're looking for an investment in the environmental sector, we have all the right credentials. You know, it must be heady stuff, Mary, to be involved in something that is so uh, focused on what the country, uh, what the world is looking at these days. Again, East Tech, E E S H is their stock symbol. We're initiating coverage of the company this week. Uh, looking forward to more updates. Uh, thanks for bringing us the story. Thank you very much, Donald. Pleased to be here.